Hello everyone, this is uh, HP 450-139 ANE. This is a small factor desktop PC. Quite smart, but quite old as well. Recently, I need to reinstall Windows 10 on it, and I was getting some difficulties on the uh, USB boot from UEFI to Legacy. So that's the reason I'm trying to make a video just to show if you guys are suffering like me, okay? So here is the solution. I will show you today how to get into BIOS and change the boot order from UEFI to Legacy and reinstall the system, okay? So first is first, what are you gonna do? We're gonna turn it off completely. The fan still spinning, it's turned off completely. Now push the power button, straight away come back to F10. Just get into BIOS. Normally other uh, HP, uh, boot button is F1 or sometimes F2 and now what I'm gonna do all right so now let's go back to security the third option by pressing the right arrow second third okay from here if you go back to the secure boot secure boot configuration enter then asking accept okay let's press F10 so now as you can see the C legacy boot support is disabled and once the legacy is disabled automatically the secure boot get enabled okay so example other way around if you make this one disabled the other one legacy will be enabled that's the thing you know but if you leave it like that this is by default that's the reason why when you connect any legacy bootable USB drive you are not able to see in the boot order or boot list okay so without changing it let's go back to uh, boot devices one second okay like boot options enter or device option nothing in here let's say from the storage if you go to boot order as you can see here every single thing that you can see it shows the UEFI boot sources and then you know the network boot but legacy boot sources are disabled because the secure boot is enabled so now if we go back to same way to the security press escape to go back and if you go to the security secure boot configuration F10 to accept it and then we're gonna make this one secure boot okay and then top one if you make it enable the legacy and press F10 to save it okay now let's go back to boot order as you can see there is another option came up and legacy is no more disabled right so now let's change the settings and exit from it F10 to accept it I'm going to go back to file, save changes and exit, say yes, at the same time come back to F9 or 11. Let's check it out. Alright, so it, the system is asking whatever I change is done. To proceed it, I need to enter 8370. Eight, three seven zero which is in my case in your case might be different hit enter now you can see the legacy boot is enabled and i'm able to see my kingstone data traveler which is that one okay and if i want to boot it up from here i can let's hit enter we're gonna able to see the windows logo okay so that's the actual fact because this model the boot screen layout or the bio screen layout is a little bit different you know as you can see now this is the window setup page okay so that's how you change the boot option for this model still if you do have any trouble please leave it in the comment section i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and please uh, hit the like button if you do like it 
and for more future videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel i hope i will see you in the next video guys bye for now thank you